Hi everyone, it's Steven. Welcome back to our candlestick pattern trading class. This video is going to be about how to trade northern and southern dojis. Let's get right into that. First, let's talk about what a northern doji candlestick pattern is. It's a bearish reversal pattern in a bullish trend. The opening price of the doji must be above the body of the previous candlestick. The low price of the doji must be below the high of the previous candlestick, and the low price should be at or above the trend line of the bullish trend. So a northern doji would represent indecision in the market in a bullish trend. So the bulls are pushing the stock up, and now the bears have been able to get the stock to close at the same price that it opened at. It's similar to an evening star pattern in that the doji comes near the top. It could turn into an evening star pattern with another red candlestick proceeding into the body of the last green candlestick. But if you don't get that, maybe you get a couple of more dojis with this pattern, all of which would be bearish for the stock. So basically, this is an indicator that you should pay attention to a stock if you're long at these levels and to possibly getting short at these levels. But you don't want to get short a stock unless there's confirmation by further candlesticks. Now let's talk about the Southern Doji. This is a bullish reversal pattern in a bearish trend. The open price must be below the body of the previous candlestick. And the high price must be above the low of the previous candlestick. The high price should be at or below the trend line of the bearish trend. Again, this is a reversal pattern. It has less power than the northern doji because at an indecision point in a bear trend the market could easily turn lower and keep going further south but if you're short a stock in a bear trend the southern doji is a candlestick you want to pay attention to and again if there are multiple dojis that show up at this point you want to be on particular alert for the stock or the market to change trend and head back up in a bullish reversal so you have both the southern and the northern doji telling you there's indecision in the market. Again, the northern doji is the more powerful of these two dojis, and the southern doji is the less powerful, but still should be a warning indicator to you to pay close attention to your stock, maybe tighten up your stops if you're short a stock in the bear trend here. Let's look at a couple of northern and southern dojis on some charts. Let's use this daily chart of Micron for an example of a southern doji. Here you have the stock in a downtrend on a daily basis. We have our first doji with the open and closing price off by only four cents on April 25th. And then another doji shows up on May 2nd with the open and closing price only off by two cents. And remember with the doji a couple of cents and price is okay, we can still call that a doji. And in combination with these dojis, which would give us some warning that the trend may be reversing, we have the MACD, which is making a new low. And so the MACD turns at this point and crosses over, and that would be your buy signal around May 8th. And you're getting confirmation with some green candlesticks. And if you waited maybe waited until the night and got this long body green candlestick for the stock to turn up from the 50 level to head back up over 60. The last thing I'd like to point out is the support and resistance level. This level was a resistance level in December and in January. It became a support level. The stock broke through the resistance level. It then became a support level in April. The stock came in again, went a little bit lower, but still in the support area, and then bounced. So you had three separate pieces of the puzzle here. The dojis, the MACD, and the support resistance line. All telling you the stock is a possible buy in this area. Let's look at this four-hour chart of General Motors. Here we have the stock trading relatively flat, and then we have a gap up in the stock from the 37 level the stock gaps up to 41 with some a nice long body green candlestick 
you have some nice green candlesticks here. You start to get some spinning tops, another green candlestick to continue the bull run, and then a doji here at 44.25. And you get a second doji at the 44.79 to 84 cents range. And then what's interesting about this doji, this second doji, is the two bearish red candlesticks, which we could combine if we used our blended candlestick. So we would actually have a candlestick larger than the green candlestick that led to this doji. And at the same time, we have the MACD, which has been at a, at a low level throughout the entire chart, spiking and crossing to the downside at this point. So the combination of the spinning tops, the two dojis, the red long body candlestick, and the crossover of the MACD indicate that this short bull run is losing power at this point. And then the stock falls back from the 45 level down to 39. So that's an example of a northern doji and using it in combination with technical indicators and other candlesticks. Thank you for joining me in this video on northern and southern dojis and how to trade those dojis in particular candlestick patterns in combination with technical indicators. In our next video, we'll be talking about the dragonfly doji and the gravestone doji, two specific types of dojis, and we'll see what those look like and how to trade what those candlesticks tell us. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.